안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami, and today I'm going to be talking about my experience getting volume eyelash extensions for the first time. And I went to the same studio that Michael got his eyebrows microbladed. It's called Estelle Beauty in Toronto, and they specialize in microblading for eyebrows, um, micro shading for eyebrows. Microblading for scalp and hairline and also eyeliner tattoo and all different kinds of eyelash extensions So I'm getting my lashes extended today But I I've never gotten volume eyelash extensions before I've only done classic um, and there's this thing called hybrid which incorporates classics and volume and classic lashes are one lash on one lash and then volume are multiple thin lashes fluffy fluffy lashes on one lash um, they have 2d 3d 4d 5d 6d 7d and then like mega you can still get a very natural look yeah. with the 3ds um, right. 2d is obviously more natural right uh, but yeah I would say like if you're gonna go volume and you're not you don't want to go like too like mega? <laughs> yeah, too mega, but you still want to stay natural, then definitely I will go with the 3D. Here, uh, yeah, come closer for my... to see my sad eyes. <laughs> this is the sad before. Still beautiful. Oh. So these are some shots of how my eyes looked without any extensions or any makeup. They're just my bare eyes, and as you can see, I have monolids. But one of my eyes, they sit a little taller because um, I have a taller kind of hidden double eyelid underneath my monolid and the other side has a very small one. So um, they're both pretty small, but my eyes are considered monolids because for the majority, for the most part, my uh, lids do appear single lidded when I have my eyes open. So this is how my eyes look before. So, she's talking. <laughs> it's kind of ironic because people they want to save time and money by choosing classics because mm -hmm. it's like a lesser thing but then they have to come more often so in the end often. you actually lose more yeah yeah so um that's exactly how i evolve feel actually also. Mm -hmm. And I always felt like volume, I was always scared of doing volume. Right. I was always like, oh, is that going to be too dramatic? Too much, yeah. Yeah, and especially when you look at volume lashes on Instagram, they look right. super dramatic, yeah. right? And that's not yeah. really the type of look that I was looking for, yeah, especially. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I always ended up just going with classics. And then uh -huh. hybrid was something that came out a little later. Right. And started like growing with popularity. Right. right. Um, but once I did volume, I can never go back. Is there makeup on my eyes? A little bit. Oh, um, yeah. Have you had um, male clients do eyelashes yet? Oh, just once time. Just one? Yeah. Was it like, like, he wanted volume and then he wanted to take it off that day. Oh, really? My lash technician, Sunny, started me off by cleaning off my lashes and making sure all of the area is clean and dry. She even dried it with a fan to make sure that the area was dry before she started. And then she started by Let's placing eyelashes that are 3D. So they're three light featherweight lashes, all glued and adhered onto oh, one one. of my eyelashes. Here we go. And you can see Sunny kind of separating my lashes. What she's doing there is called isolation. She's isolating just one of my eyelashes, a single lash, so that she can place her fan on. And a fan is basically a jointment of a few to several thin lash extensions into one fan. And that fan is placed on one of the eyelashes just right at the base of your eyelash. Oh. She's a lot older than me. Oh, really? My mom had her like really young and then she had mm. me like 39. So oh, really? There's such a big gap, but her, um, she's like everything, the way she does her kids, the way she does her laundry, 
the way she does her everything is hangukshik. Oh really? Mm -hmm. But I think it's good. Like we can learn from it too. Okay, I think because we have children around the same age. Yeah. Like she had kids late and then I had kids early. Mm. So it's like much oh, really? So we can like mm. compared to True. if she was a different life stage. Yeah. yeah. After you get your eyelashes extended, you're not supposed to get water on them for 24 to 48 hours. This is the time where the glue will have time to cure. And if you get water on them, it's going to disrupt the curing process and your lashes will fall out sooner or they won't last as long. Now I mentioned in Michael's microblading video that every studio that provides these beauty services will have different prices depending on you know the location, depending on their, their technicians, depending on their techniques and depending on the materials that they use. But Estelle Beauty has lash extensions starting at $70 and they even provided a code that you can use in the notes section of your booking. Nacho 20 gives you 20% off and as I mentioned before, it's not an affiliate code. So we don't actually get paid by promoting this code. It's just something very generous that Estelle Beauty has provided just exclusive to our Nacho fam. I couldn't isolate. I was like, how do you get one lash? True, true, true. Your career is really good, eh? Really? Uh, well, thank you. It's Charan and Chuk. I thought you'd be like pure second gen, but. Yeah, actually, my career is really bad. Yeah. And then my sister came to live here for like since last year. Oh, okay. So, so you're kind of forced to speak yeah, I'm forced to speak more. But it's only my pronunciation that's good. I don't know any vocabulary. Uh, and my grammar is all funky too. <laughs> like I don't see it, I don't feel mm -hmm. it. But every time she brushes, I can feel like the fluffiness. Mm -hmm. And it feels full, but very light and mm -hmm. fluffy. Like, like wings? <laughs> like wings. I can fly. As you can see, Sunny is working on one eye and then she goes and fans it. And then she starts working on the other eye. I think every artist will do it differently because some artists go one eye at a time and then other artists will do um, one section of one eye and then work on that section on the other side and then reciprocate going back and forth. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow! It's like I have makeup on. Whoa! Oh, so How's it? It's very nice. Mm -hmm. I actually really liked how natural the volume eyelashes were, even though from the side they looked very long. From the front, they it almost looked like I had eyeliner on and a bit of eyeshadow rather than like a full kind of volume va va voom eyelashes. I really like how dense my lashes looked and how they kind of naturally grew out. Um, there was never an awkward period for me. You know when you cut your hair and then they get to a length where it's like awkward? I never experienced that with the lashes. Sometimes, depending on the length of the lashes that are put on, um, your lashes while they're growing out, it might be obvious that they're growing out. But Sunny applied them in a way and with a technique where they grow out really gracefully. I did opt for a C curl and I'm thinking maybe because the C curl combined with my monolids are causing the lashes to sit on the base a little lower because my lashes point a lot lower like straight to the ground compared to other people's whose lashes point more forward or upward um, based on how their eyelids sit. These set of volume lashes actually made me look like I had a set of wings on my eyes. So they normally suggest you to come in for a refill. It's kind of like when you do your nails and your nails grow out and then they redo your nails and refill your nails back to the base. Um, it's kind of like that for your lashes. After three to four weeks, they recommend you to come in and take out any lashes that are growing out 
and like literally hanging off the edges and then refill the lashes back to the base. I hope this video was helpful or informative to you. I do wanna thank Estelle Beauty for collaborating with us in bringing this video to you so that we can show you the process of what a volume eyelash extension looks like. If you have any questions at all, please leave them down below. I will be checking frequently and um, replying to every question I see. And that's it for this video. I will see you next time. Bye. Oh. <sighs>